In this lecture, we will review sociological perspectives in Sex for Sale, a psychology core section in human sexuality. According to the functionalist theory, prostitution exists because it serves several important functions for society generally and for certain people in society. As stated in my previous lectures, we are not here to judge anyone, not the sex worker or not the customer. Now, almost eight decades ago, sociologist Kinsley Davis in 1937 wrote that prostitution even lowers the divorce rate. He reasoned that many married men are unhappy with their sex life and with their wives. They do not think this situation can improve. Some men start an affair with other women and may fall in love with that woman, threatening these men's marriages. Other men turn to a prostitute. Because prostitution is generally impersonal, these men do not fall in love per se with their prostitutes and their marriages are not threatened. Now, he went on to state that without prostitution, then more men would have affairs and more divorces would result. Although Davis's hypothesis is provocative, there are no adequate studies to test it. Now, according to conflict theory, prostitution reflects the economy inequality in society. Many poor women feel compelled to become prostitutes because of their lack of money, because wealthier women may have other sources of income. The idea of becoming a prostitute is something they never have to consider. Sad but interesting historical support for this view comes from an increase in prostitution in the second half of the 19th century. Many women lost husbands and boyfriends in the war and were left penniless. Lack in formal education and living in a society that at the same time offered few job opportunities to women, many of these bereaved women were forced to turn to prostitution to feed their families and themselves. As American cities grew rapidly during the last decades of the 19th century, thousands of immigrant women and other poor women also turned to prostitution as a need source for income. Now, this late 19th century increase in prostitution then occurred because of women's poverty. Now, according to the feminist version of conflict theory, prostitution results not only from women's poverty, but also from society's patriarchal culture that still views men as the dominant figure in heterosexual relationships and still treats women as sex objects who exist for men's pleasure. In such a culture, it is no surprise that men will want to pay for sex with a woman and that women will be willing to be paid for sex. In this feminist view, the oppression and exploitation that prostitution inherently involves reflects the more general oppression and exploitation of women in the larger society. Now, symbolic interactionism moves away from these larger issues to examine the everyday understandings that prostitutes and their customers have about their behavior. These understandings help both prostitutes and customers justify their behavior. Many prostitutes, for example, believe that they are performing an important service for the men who pay them 
indoor prostitutes are perhaps especially likely to feel that they are helping their customers by providing them not only with sex, but also with companionship. A woman who owned a massage parlor named the Classic Touch echoed this view. Her business employed 14 women who basically masturbated their customers and offered a senior citizen discount. The owner reasoned that her employees were performing an important service. We have many senior citizens and handicapped people, she stated. We also have some men who are impotent and others who are divorced or in bad marriages. This is a safe, AIDS-free environment that help marriages, she stated. Husbands come in here and get a stress release, and then they're able to go home and take on more. She also added, these are men who do not go to bars and pick up strange women. These are only a few of the sociological perspectives in regards to sex for sale. There are many other psychological perspectives which we will cover in future lectures.